Hey there, students. My name is Nathan, and I'm a Chegg tutor for Chegg Tutoring. Today we're going to be talking about earnings per share. We're going to mainly be focusing on basic earnings per share. So there's two types. There's basic and there's diluted. Diluted earnings per share, there's a lot that goes into that, and that's more for an advanced video. So in this video, we're just going to be talking about basic earnings per share. Now, what is earnings per share? Well, it's just what it sounds like. It's how much a company earns per share of stock that they issue. That's a good definition over here. And many financial analysts, they're concerned with earnings per share because they believe it's a great determinant of the company's stock value. So how many dollars of income is the company generating per share of stock issued? That's essentially what it is. And that's more of the basic form. Once again, diluted earnings per share, that's for another video. So the formula for basic earnings per share, or what they call basic EPS, is your net income minus preferred dividends divided by weighted average shares outstanding. Now the harder part about this equation is the denominator weighted average shares outstanding. Now what is that? Well, I'll go ahead and show you in a problem how we calculate that. So, at the end of 2015, LifeWorks Inc. they earned $300,000 in income before tax. And they have a tax rate of 35%. Preferred dividends amounted to 25 grand. From January 1st to June 30th, 20,000 shares were issued. From July 1st to December 31st, an additional 40,000 shares were issued. So the first step here that we should take is figure out our weighted average shares outstanding. So let's go ahead and do that here. So first, we know that from January 1st to June 30th, there were 20,000 shares issued. Now since January 1st to June 30th is half the year, we have to go ahead and multiply that times 50%, so that's half the year. Then from July 1st to December 31st, An additional 40,000 shares were issued. And since that's the other half of the year, multiply that times 50%. Or you can do multiply times one half. The same thing. You're just allocating based on the portion of the year that these shares were issued. So 20,000 times 50% is going to be 10,000 shares. 40,000 times 50% is 20,000. So your weighted average shares outstanding is going to be equal to the sum, 30,000 shares. Now, if there's any type of stock splits or stock dividends that are reported, that will affect this weighted average shares. But for the purpose of this example here, we're just going to do a basic weighted average shares outstanding. So now we have our weighted average shares of 30,000. Let's go ahead and calculate our net income now. So net income will be equal to your income before tax times 1 minus the tax rate. So from there, let's go ahead and take our income before tax which is 300,000 and multiply it times 1 minus 0.35. Okay, let's calculate that here. Okay. we get 195,000.
So essentially it's 300,000 times one minus the tax rate, or you can do 300,000 times the tax rate and then deduct that tax to get to your net income. Because net income really means after deductions. So you get 195,000 here for net income. And according to this formula here, we go ahead and do it. Our basic EPS formula is equal to net income minus preferred dividends divided by weighted average shares outstanding. So just take our net income of 195,000 minus our preferred dividends, which is up here, 25 grand. And we're gonna divide that by our 30,000 shares. So we're gonna equal 170,000 divided by 30,000. So our basic EPS is equal to 5 dollars and 67 cents per share of stock. So what's going on here is LifeWorks Inc is generating about 5 dollars and 67 cents per share of stock issued. That's really good. That's a lot of income they're generating per share of stock. Financial analysts will look at that number and be very pleased and most likely invest in that company along with recommending that company to others. Hopefully this was helpful for y'all today. If you're looking for more tutoring, maybe some one-on-one -on -one help or some exam prep or homework help, I am a Chegg tutor. You can find me right here at this link. I go by Nathan G. Once again, thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next video.